I don't train in the Philippines. I train in um, Seattle. It's pretty hard. We train every day, Monday to Saturday. But it's one of the things that we have to do to be better at the sport. You have to be disciplined. Hard work and dedication during practice may be paramount, but the grind doesn't stop there. Doing something extra and knowing the scientific side of things must be included in the curriculum. Just ask Remedy Rule and Jimmy DiPerini. I'll do a lot of cross training such as weightlifting and yoga to maintain flexibility. I also think like athleticism is very important as well. So I also surf, which is also in the water, and that's also really helpful for swimming as well. I swim nine times a week, and then I have three weight sessions, and then at the beginning of the season, I'm going to have like two circuit sessions, which are more cardio based to get in shape. And then I also um, supplement with yoga. Any type of body workout may produce varying results. That's why when it comes to honing a skill, every athlete has a distinct approach. Knowing exactly how their bodies will respond, the swimmers choose the method best suited to aid their progress. Rosalie Mira Santa Ana and Chloe Isleta have a firm grasp of that concept. The mindset and strategizing and building, um, I think that starts 24 seven. Whether you're in the pool or out of the pool, I think it's a test of how you treat swimming or whatever you love uh, seriously. Um, that's how you eat, how you sleep, um, and how you manage your practice and races. I think it starts 24 seven. Right now, I've been training by myself, but there have been some coaches to help me along the way. I think it takes about a couple months to prepare for that specific meet. I'm focusing on a specific race, like the 100 back, 2 back. I want to focus on what I have to do for that race. So underwaters, how I'm supposed to execute the race, mental preparation, like imagining that I am doing the race to prepare. And then on the day of the meet, you'll be relaxed, prepared, and ready to race. Every single member of the team knows the value of having a good work ethic. Even late bloomer, Luke Gebby, has grown accustomed to this virtue. I swim about seven times a week, six to seven. It's moving to eight in the next month. Three to four gym sessions a week, about two hours each. And then I do two spin bike sessions, and then two yoga sessions, and that's basically it. Considering the different starting points of their journeys, the Philippine swimming team is indeed a diverse group. But preparations for big competitions bring the members together and guide them to work as a unit. So I'm really grateful for Lonnie Velasco, the president of Philippine Swimming right now in POC, because they really gave me the opportunity to represent the country and really help me out to enter in the competitions and just prove myself that I belong on the national swim team. I've always wanted to represent something that I'm a part of, and which is the Philippines, because I'm 100% Filipino, and I want that to be part of my life. And I basically found them. I wanted to reach out to them, and they helped me achieve what I wanted. The rest of the team concur that coming home to their motherland is a fuel that make them go harder. I'm always honored to represent the Philippines in any competition. Well, my mindset is I always want to give my 100% in training so that I can prepare myself for anything during the competition. It's been great, actually. Um, it's been renewing my mindset. Um, being here in the Philippines, it helped me feel inspired because I, when I set my foot here, I was like, wow, this is the country I represent. So, like, you know, I see the people, I see the, you know, the things around me, so I know, like, okay, when I go to swimming competition, this is what I'm representing. So when I'm in the pool here, I feel so happy because I know that this is where I'm from and my true blood is here. 